most concerned at the, this very moment is the, the situation of the Uyghur people and the entire um, uh, supervision and control of all the Uyghur and the Tibetan people. And that's why we are uh, calling for the diplomatic boycott and, and with a diplomatic boycott no one of the Swiss Federal Council, for example, even not the president should be present just to, to, to not be complicit with the system of human rights violations. China has the ability to hide a lot of what they are doing and to put a lot of pressure on those who try to investigate. But we, we could find uh, a lot of sources that show that it's getting worse and worse the situation. So there are quite a few now that stayed, let's say, one or two years in the camps who were able to flee. And uh, often the problem that we still face is that they are not willing to talk because they still have relatives in the country. And they know that the Chinese will go after the relatives once that they speak up openly. We are saying that China is on the way towards a genocide. At the moment, the human rights dialogue between China and Switzerland is blocked. And if they only are able to talk, maybe the situation of the prisoners in the, in the prisons of China, this is not the issue. Much more important is how they treat opposition, how they treat minorities and so on. Switzerland tries and the Chinese refuse. Switzerland is one of the few countries that have a free trade agreement with China and human rights does not appear one time in this agreement and this shall not be the future. If the fear about retaliations, for example, is so big that Switzerland does not talk about human rights violations anymore, then we have a big, big problem. <laughs> <laughs>